Hey boys and girls, it's Ms. Carpenter. We've been working hard this week on comparing and contrasting an informational text. Today, we're gonna read two informational texts on epic books, and we're going to compare and contrast the topics. As you can see here, I've created a collection on epic books, and the two books that we have today are called I Know Basketball and I Know Soccer. So the topic of our text today are gonna to be basketball and soccer. Before you read a text, it's helpful to think about your background knowledge or what you already know about it. When you do this, you can think about some of the ideas that might be covered in the text or some of the words that you might see. While I get the book pulled up, go ahead and start thinking about what you already know about these topics. Maybe some of you have even played these sports. Okay. All right. Here's our first book, I Know Basketball. Let's look at the table of contents. The table of contents tells us the headings in the book and what page number they can be found on. So in this book, we're going to be reading about the history, rules, and records of basketball. Let's get started. History. Basketball became a sport in 1891. A gym teacher invented it. His students could then play a sport inside. Wow, 1891, that was more than 100 years ago. I don't know about you, but I didn't know that basketball was that old of a sport. Players scored points by throwing a ball into a peach basket. The game had only 13 rules. The National Basketball Association, or the NBA, began in 1949. It had 17 teams. Today, it has 30. Do you have a favorite NBA team? Rules. Two teams play against each other on a court. Five players from each team play at a time. A hoop is at each end of the court. Players score points by shooting the basketball through the hoop. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. Now I notice we have two bold words on this page. Bold words are words that are in darker print. And they're bold because the author wants us to know that they're important. So a hoop is definitely an important word in this text. A hoop is pictured here. That's the way that the players score points, by getting it in the hoop. Basketball players dribble the ball. They can shoot it. They can also pass it. They cannot run with the ball. Records. Will Chamberlain scored 100 points in a game in 1962. No player in the NBA has broken this record. Kobe Bryant came close. He scored 81 points in a game in 2006. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar scored 38,387 points during his career. It is still an NBA record. All right. So that was our text about basketball. Now we're going to read about soccer. While we're reading, be thinking about some of the similarities and differences that you hear. Let's go back to the table of contents here. We can see that in this book, we're also going to be learning about the history of soccer, just like we did with basketball, playing the game, and rules. So we can see that we have some similar topics in this book, which is going to make it very easy for us to compare and contrast, which is good. History. Soccer has two names. It is called football in most countries. It is called soccer in the United States. People have played soccer for almost 200 years. It is the most popular sport in the world. Wow, I'm already seeing a difference. Do you guys see it? Basketball, if you remember, was started in 1891, so it's a little over 100 years old, whereas soccer is almost 200 years old. So what sport is older? That's right, soccer. Soccer is an older sport. Already we've contrasted them. We have a difference. Soccer teams from around the world play in the World Cup. It is a tournament played every four years. The first World Cup was in 1930. And you can see in this photograph over here that this photograph looks older, looks like it was taken a long time ago because it's in black and white. Soccer is played on a big field. There are two teams. Each team has a goal at one end of the field. 
wow, I can see some differences here in um, the places where these two sports are played. Whereas basketball is played indoor, indoors on a court, soccer is mostly played outdoors on a field. And the soccer field is much, much larger than the basketball court. Players pass the ball to each other. They try to score in the other team's goal. A goalie tries to block the ball. Soccer players do not need much equipment. Cleats and shin guards are all that they need. This is definitely a difference between basketball and soccer. Basketball players don't wear cleats and shin guards like soccer players do. Those would scratch up the floor of the basketball court. Rules. Players pass the ball mostly with their feet. They may not use their hands or arms. That's definitely another difference between soccer and basketball. In basketball, all of the players have to use their hands. But in soccer, only the goalie is allowed to. Only goalies can use their hands on the ball. They have to stop the ball any way they can. Players can hit the ball with their heads. These are called headers. There aren't any headers in basketball, are there? All right, now that we're done with our two texts, let's compare and contrast using a Venn diagram. Get this started. Okay, so comparing and contrasting two topics. We know that our two topics are basketball and soccer. Here are the things that I want to compare and contrast. The history of each game, how to play the game, the rules, and the necessary equipment. When we think about these different topics, it can really help us before we make our Venn diagram to organize our thinking. All right, so here's my, my Venn diagram. I have basketball over on the left, and then I have soccer over here on the right. I'm going to start with soccer. Let's think about the history of soccer. Remember, soccer was invented 200 years ago. So soccer is a 200-year-old sport. That's different than basketball. Now I'm going to think about um, how to play the game of soccer. Soccer is played. Soccer, it, you score a goal by kicking the ball into the goal. So score by kicking into goal. That's a difference from basketball. Now I'm going to think about some of the rules. The most important rule in soccer is that you cannot use your hands to touch the ball. So no hands allowed in soccer. And last, I'm going to think about the equipment. In soccer, you need cleats and shin guards to play. All right, that came up a little early. Yeah, sorry about that. But let's move over here to basketball. And we're going to think about the history of basketball. Basketball was invented in 1891, which makes it a little over 100 years old. That's different than soccer. Now let's think about how to play basketball. Basketball is played by shooting a ball through a hoop. So score by shooting through hoop. That's different than soccer. Okay, now let's think about the rules. The biggest rule in basketball is that you cannot run with the ball. If you do that, the referee will call a travel. So let's put cannot run with ball. And then last, let's think about the equipment needed in basketball. In soccer, you need cleats and shin guards. Basketball really doesn't require much equipment at all. You have to have the ball, and then I just put basketball shoes. Okay. Now let's think about the similarities between basketball and soccer, the things that they have in common. Well, basketball and soccer are both a sport. So I'm going to put that in the middle. They're both sports. And they're both really popular sports in the United States. In both of these sports, the team with the most points wins. We can put that in the middle. Also. Both of these sports are played with a ball. That's something that they have in common. If we were to think about another sport like maybe, say, hockey. Hockey uses a puck, right? So played with a ball is a similarity between basketball and soccer. And last, like I said earlier, both of these sports are really popular. There are fans of both of these sports, basketball and soccer. 
So now we have found the similarities and the differences between basketball and soccer by examining those nonfiction texts. You are going to do a little bit more practice today on reading some nonfiction texts and comparing and contrasting the topics. You guys are doing a great job. I'm so proud of all of your hard work. I've loved reviewing it and reading your Venn diagrams. Keep up the great work and have an awesome day.